what does feeding the gators and objections have to do with your sales process and why do you need to know this? I'm Scott Southern Bell. I'm coming to you live from Orlando, Florida. Orlando on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about objections. Now really, anytime that you're talking with a buyer and you roll price or you talk about terms or you talk about something that has to do with your sales process, there's three different conversations that you could have that can either help you or hurt you. And two of them, you know, other sales trainers have talked about, but one of them, most people never hear it. So you're gonna hear it from me. So let's say that you're somewhere in your sales presentation and you're talking about the investment and the investment is 12,500. And the person says, oh my goodness, that's a ton of money, okay? So the first one that nobody ever talks about is that could just be nervous energy. It could just be cerebral reflex and like they're just thinking it, they're not used to saying it. And it means absolutely nothing. It, it doesn't mean anything, right? The second thing is it could be a complaint. It could be like a little bit more like, wow, it's a lot of money for what you guys are asking for, right? I was expecting a little bit less, but that does not mean it's an objection. On the scale of everything, it could just be a complaint. And the third, 12,500, wow, that's a lot of money. You're gonna have to do better than that. I'm not buying today, that's an objection. And see, so one of the things that I see salespeople do when I write Copilot is they're talking with the buyer, they roll their price, and it's nervous energy. There, it's, it's not an objection, it's not a complaint, and the person's like, wow, 12,500. The person, it's all in vocal pitch and vocal tone. It's all in body language, right? So I wish there was a 100% magic formula to help you out and say like, this is gonna happen every time and this is how you're gonna know. But one of the things that's gonna happen when you live through enough deals, you're gonna hear it and you're gonna feel it more than anything else. Now, I'm a huge fan that anytime that somebody gives you either nervous energy a complaint or an objection to ignore it, to test it, let it go, right? And so some people will say, no, 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 you have to meet every objection down. Okay, so what if it is nervous energy? What if it, it's not an objection? What if it's not a complaint and the person just looks at the price and is talking out loud? Wow, that's a lot of money. Like I live by myself, okay? And so a couple months back, I'm walking around the house, I stub my toe and I just start talking. Oh my goodness, I stub my toe. And I'm like, why am I talking to myself? And I'm, I'm saying all this stuff verbally. Why am I talking to myself? Why does it matter? Why am I even getting into this? And then I realized, hey, look, you know, this happens a lot, even in the sales process. So you have to just be aware that like you can have those three things happen. It could be one, complete nervous energy, no problem. Two, it could be a complaint where it really doesn't have a lot of weight. And three, it really could be an objection where the person's saying, I'm not buying today. You're not getting anything from me. You're, you're not gonna get an order. Good luck, take off, okay? So pay attention. Pay attention and you're gonna know if it's a real objection, if you ignore it and you really have an objection, the person's gonna say it again. Like, what, are you not listening to me? Do you not wanna listen to me? You can't listen to me, right? They're gonna, they're gonna call you on it, right? So you can test some waters. I know that like some people may disagree. Hey, if you disagree, put a note in the box below. Say, hey, Scott, like I disagree. I'm, I'm cool with that, let's have a conversation. No big deal, right? Have a conversation, I'll have a conversation with you. Tell me, tell me why you agree, tell me why you disagree. You, know, you got one thing to do from here. Just one thing, find the subscribe button, click on it, and every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. This is Scott Bell Consultants sent out a video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon, aloha. Look at this, don't feed the gators. These gators are under special care of specialists. Ah, they're under special care from a salesperson, right? So remember, gators hang out right there and right there, and there's three things that can happen in the sales process. You can have a nervous energy, you can have a complaint, or, you could truly have an objection to something going on in your sales process. Don't feed the gators. I got a picture for you. Don't feed the gators.